Hello, everybody. My name is Hal. This is Quail Studios Guitar. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> this uh, this live streaming stuff. Uh, I don't know. When I when I make a video, it, it's not that big of a deal. But uh, I'll tell you when I'm live. Oh, boy, get a little nervous. Thanks for being here. Say something for me. Let me know if it sounds good. If the guitar sounds good. If uh, the mic is too hot, that kind of thing. Thanks for being here. Today we're going to talk about perfect fifths, and uh, do you know what a perfect fifth is? It's a uh, sounds like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. When we play the first two notes, I'll play it on the piano too. So a perfect fifth is the first two notes of any song. Well, what am I saying here? The first two notes you hear, it sounds like twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Now I can start on any place. As long as I have that sound, then it's a perfect fifth. Here, let me get my mic up a little higher here. Now, guitar players love perfect fifths because they sound like power chords. Let's see if I got a little distortion here. Okay, that's a perfect fifth, right? So power chords are perfect fifths. And a lot of times, guitar players will do perfect fifths and then they'll do an octave and they call that a power chord. And when you look in books and things like that, it'll say A5. And that means it's a power chord. Now, why does it say five? Well, because we're playing an A, and then we're playing the perfect fifth above that. And we're not playing what we call the third of the chord, because every chord, like a major and a minor chord, has a root and a third and a fifth, three different notes. So like the root, the third, and the fifth. But a power chord only has the root and the fifth. So they call it an A5 when it's on A. When it's on D, it's called D5. When it's on G, it's called a G5. When it's on C, it's called a G, uh, C5. Let's see who's here. Hey, hi, guys. <laughs> Emmett, hello. Bob, hey, you're here, Bob. I thought you weren't going to be here. Uh, Mike, looks like you're here too. Good. Okay. Thank you for the feedback, and it sounds good. That's great. All right. Now, the perfect fifth is really interesting because when we play chords that go from, let's say, a G to a D, G, A, B, C, D, that's a fifth, right? G to D. And it sounds like twinkle, twinkle, little star, right? Well, when we play a G chord going to a D chord... That's a fifth going up, actually. It's a very strong chord progression. And these happen all the time in songs. Well, not every song, <laughs> but it happens a lot. I was working on American Pie this week, and I was looking at those perfect fifth relationships, right? And um, they're everywhere in American Pie. There's a lot of them. It's pretty fun. I'll show it on the screen in just a second here. Let me put something on the screen that you might have seen before. All right, this is called the Circle of Fifths. And I think there's another name for it or something. But the Circle of Fifths is um, a way that we can look at keys and notes and chords and things like that because there are relationships from one chord to another. So what we've got here is we've got, at the top, you'll see that there's a circle going all the way around. And at the top, it says C, 
right? You'll notice that there are notes on the right-hand side on the outside of the circle and on the left-hand side on the inside of the circle going around. The, the, and these actually stand for notes, and they also stand for keys. For instance, in the key of C, you'll notice that it just says C, and over G it says one sharp. Well, the key of G has one sharp. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, if I play the major scale. If I play the C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, that just has no sharps and flats. So those sharps and the flats on the left-hand side going you know, to the left, that's talking about a key signature for those keys. But let's just think about it in terms of chords for the moment, okay? So we got a C chord going to a G chord. And that's a perfect fifth relationship. Um, let me see. Let me put uh, let me put a scale on here for you. Okay, there's a scale. That's the G scale. G A B C D E F sharp G, just like that. Now the first note in the scale is called the tonic. And the first chord is called the tonic chord. And the fifth note is D. And the fifth chord is called the dominant or the five chord. So when we go five, one, D going to G, then what we have is we have uh, a perfect fifth relationship there. Now let me pull up uh, American Pie lead sheet for you and look at it. Okay. This is what we've got. You'll notice that the first chord is a G. Long, long, long time ago. And uh, when we get to the end of that line, I can still remember when and uh, how that music used to make me smile. You'll notice that there's a D chord at the end of that line. And you'll notice that it doesn't sound like the song is done, right? And when it lands on a D chord, let me check my tuning really quick here. Something doesn't quite sound right. a little flat. That one's a little flat. Sorry about that. I tuned up before I did this and sometimes the uh, temperature changes. Okay, so we're back to the end of the first line. How that music used to make me smile. So right there, we've got um, a D chord, and it doesn't sound like we're done. And then we go to a G chord. And I knew. So that D to G is called a cadence, five to one. Okay. Now look at the end of uh, the next line. Um, I knew if I had my chance that I could make those people dance, and maybe they'd be happy for a while. D chord, we're hanging there. But then it goes to E minor, which is actually the sixth chord. Um, at the end of a couple lines down, oh, oh, wait, the next line. Bad news on the doorstep, I couldn't take one more step. D chord going to a G chord. Can't remember if I cried when I read about this widow bride. D chord going to a G chord on the next line. That's another cadence. Something touched me deep inside the day of the music. There's a D chord going to a die G chord. That's a cadence, five to one very strong relationship. When you hear those five to one, that's a D chord going to a G, right? That is a very strong chord progression. Now, when we say strong, we don't mean weak. We mean that it's just strong. It's, uh, it's something that you work out to. It's something that you listen to, you know, when you want to get pumped up. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so... That's a, a strong chord progression. You'll notice that the first two chords long, long, is a G chord going to a D chord, but it's not a D chord with a D in the bass. It's a D chord with an F sharp in the bass. Oh, I see. Uh, video is frozen for me. Still have audio. Same here. Okay. Sorry about that. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? Good to have you here. Hi, good songs. Saludos de, desde México. Saludos a usted. Gracias para estar aquí, por estar aquí. Okay, 
so we've got that G to a D with an F sharp bass. By the way, I think the playback will be just fine and you'll be able to see everything. I can see that my video is uh, is frozen too for some reason. And this didn't happen last week when I was uh, when I was working on uh, on live streams. Didn't happen. So, okay, we'll just keep going until we're done here. I'm not going to go too far. Okay, let's see. Um, so that G chord going to the D with an F sharp bass is a, a one going to a five. And that's a perfect fifth relationship also. But the F sharp in the bass is really cool. Okay, we got the G, F sharp, E, right? Very soft, nice, smooth bass line. It's very nice. Okay, that's beautiful. But still, it's a one chord going to a five chord. Actually, first inversion going to an E minor. That's a very nice relationship. Let's look at one more thing here. Okay, I'm going to go back to um, my circle of fifths, all right? All right, here's our circle of fifths. Now, all of these are fifths, like C going to G is a fifth, and G going to D is a fifth, and D going to A is a fifth. It goes up a fifth. A going to E is a fifth. E going to B is a fifth. So all of these relationships are perfect fifth relationships. Now, in American Pie, we have an E minor chord going to an A minor chord. Right? Long, long time ago, E minor going to A minor. I can still remember... Uh, now that's still a perfect fifth relationship from E minor to A minor. It's very interesting. Okay, it looks like the, the video is still frozen. Oh well, you know, it's like, what can I do? I don't know. I'm going to stop it here in just a, a couple minutes, and then we'll, uh, we'll see if it actually works and see if the playback will work. So E minor to A minor is a perfect fifth relationship also, E to A. But actually when you go up... E to up to A, that's a perfect fourth. But if you go E down to A, that's a perfect fifth. Okay, wait a minute. A up to E is a perfect fifth. E down to A is a perfect fifth. E up to A is a perfect fourth. A down to E is a perfect fourth. So still, this is still a... Um, a perfect fourth, perfect fifth relationship. And we'll talk about perfect fourths later. It's like if you turn a perfect fifth upside down, it's a perfect... Did I say that right? If you turn a perfect fifth upside down, it's a perfect fourth. Okay, we'll talk about more about this later. Hey, thanks for coming along. Sorry that the video is frozen. It looks like it's frozen to me. We'll see if it actually comes out um, frozen on the playback. I'm really learning all about this kind of stuff. Really appreciate you guys being here. Bob, thank you. Johnny, Sanchez, thank you for being here. Let's see, you got Dave. Oh, Dave's here for a minute. Good. And uh, Emmett, fantastic. And it looks like Mike is here too. So thanks guys for coming along. And there's probably other people that haven't commented and we'll see what happens. All right, um, I've got a subscribe star page. I've got a Patreon page. I've got a PayPal link in the description. You can check that out there. Now, this, these ideas are in my book, my Quail Studios Music and Lead Sheets book. There's a theory section in the back. And also, American Pie Lead Sheet is in that book right now. Um, I'm trying to th remember if it's in the latest version. The next version, it will definitely be there, which will be coming out in just a couple of days. All right, thanks for being here. We'll talk to you later. Take care. Thanks. Bye.